Let's shift gears just a little bit and talk about costs. Um, obviously, there's the cost to build or the cost to convert existing space to a, li a living unit. Um, what is the cost for getting the permit? Uh, and is there a difference in getting the permit, co the cost in getting the permit between uh, building a new structure and building and using existing space? Sure. Well, um, it's it's sort of proportional to the scope of your project. So. If you are taking an existing habitable space, like a, a bonus room or a family room, that's part of the approved space in your house, it's already designed as, as habitable space, it's, it's heated. Um, if you were to take that space and convert that to an ADU, uh, the permit fees that the city charges you are, are not a lot at all. They're, they're, I think they're under $1,000. Um, the cost to do plans for that also is a lot less because there's all sorts of things that we don't have to demonstrate compliance with. For example, the Title 24 energy efficiency requirements. If it's already part of your house, your house needs Title 24 already. So then we're just dealing with building code on whatever new improvements you're putting in, like your kitchen counters or maybe a bathroom or something like that. Right, That's pretty straightforward. Requiring additional uh, outlets, outlets, whatever. Right. Right. Yeah, when you're doing a brand new detached unit, I mean, that's sort of like building a little mini house. So uh, the building permit fees are a lot more. I mean, they're, they're still not outrageous, a few thousand dollars. And, uh, but then we've got, you know, Title 24 consultants. Oftentimes we'll have to get soil samples to tell us how to build the foundation. You need a structural engineer to engineer the trusses and the foundation attachments and everything else. So it gets a lot more expensive. So the first case we were talking about might just be, you know, three or four thousand dollars in terms of producing plans and handling the submittals to the agency, whereas the uh, the, the other end of the spectrum is closer to ten thousand okay. dollars. And then in between we have the gray area of somewhere where somebody's developed an illegal residential unit. And, and one of the cool things about the accessory dwelling unit law is it, it creates a possibility for people to make those units legal. And the idea it, is getting an as-built permit. Yeah, basically, and in doing so, you're, you're bringing these things up to current building code, which is a huge benefit because now you're creating a housing unit that the city gets to recognize in terms of meeting its housing requirements. Mm -hmm. You're getting a unit that maybe wasn't up to building code, now will be up to building code, and we've got another, you know, affordable rental unit in our rental housing stock and that benefits the whole community so right and it also makes housing more affordable it's still undetermined yet how lenders will qualify a buyer when they're buying a property with an existing ADU and whether they'll take that rental income into account uh, they will on duplexes and triplexes but with an ADU it hasn't it hasn't yeah. been fully resolved it, yet. It hasn't. It's too new. All of this is still too new. So they're still working on that. Yeah. So in the, in the case of, you know, taking an illegal unit and making it legal, um, that's the weird thing because people that have the illegal unit think that, well, the kitchen's already in, the bathroom's already there. Why is it so complicated and expensive to make this illegal unit legal? And the reason why is an as-built permit isn't you draw it up and you hand it to them and they say, okay, as-built. An as-built permit is if you're, it's the same thing as if you were proposing this illegal unit as if it was brand new. And so you have to somehow document how you comply with current building code in that already built unit. And that can be really challenging. And a lot of these units they don't comply, so we or have to. Or they've deal been with there it. for so long that uh, the building code changed right. from when it was put in in 1985. You just never know. Yeah, exactly. So that adds to the cost, and those things are all over the map. And in the ones that we've done, they've ranged from $4,500 to $8,500. Right.